blah, blah, blah. I really wasn't involved in like a small group or anything. So then like I had lunch with Ryan at Rat Slinger. Rat, Rat, Rat Slinger. Rat Skeller. So then I met him Rat there. Slinger. <laughs> yeah. And then, what's up? <laughs> that was like the worst thrust <laughs> So I met him there and then uh, we had a quick conversation. So we connected. That's where I met you too. Yep. I remember that. Here we go. So, so then, um, so then, long story short, uh, Campus Harvest comes around. Everybody's like, oh, let's sign up, sign up. Campus Harvest sign ups are today. And Ryan, like, he got my number. So um, he's like, are you signing for a Campus Harvest? I'm like, nah. Like, I don't know. Like, basically, like, to be honest, like, I didn't want to go because, like, I wasn't, like, ready to, like, give myself to Christ, right? But, like, literally, he, the night before, he texted me. He's like, oh, by the way, like, uh, you can sign up for free now. So, like, there should be, like, no excuse now, like, yeah, it's God. Like, so there was no way I could say no to that. So I went to Canvas Harvest. Literally didn't expect anything. That same night, that Friday night, I downloaded the, the Bible app. Like, I never had the Bible app on my phone before. Like, that night, like, I had to download the Bible app. And then, um, so, like, the first two days, like, you know, it was just going. I was pretty tired. Late nights, early mornings. So I was like, once we've done our talks. But the last night of worship, man. The last night of worship was just phenomenal. Like, everybody was just, like, in the spirit, running around, like, crying. And I'm like, all right. So, like, I want to experience what they're experiencing, right? So, like, I closed my eyes and I prayed. And um, I guess one of their church elders, like, came to me and, like, spoke over me and whatnot. And then, like, I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. So, then I started singing, right? And, like, thinking about it. And then out of nowhere, like, I just get, like, punched in the throat by Jesus. Like, I get punched and, like, I go that like. I don't like fall, but like, it's a quick kneel, like, boom, and then like, all of a sudden, like, I feel like this heat, like, radiating on my forehead, and like, my eyes are closed, so there, there shouldn't be a blinding light in my eyes if my eyes are closed, right? So then I just start bawling like a baby, just bawling, man, bawling, and then, um, the preacher who was speaking, he was like, um, pray to God, and, um, He'll, he'll tell you what you need to do. And then, like, I prayed to him. And basically, like, he told me that I have to become, like, a more faithful and, like, dedicated Christian. And I was like, all right, cool. So then he also said, uh, go find some stranger in the credits you've never met before. Give him a hug. Tell him what you need to do. So I found this kid from, I forgot, like, Tennessee or something. Somewhere, like, somewhere so distant. And literally, that was the best hug I've ever got from anybody. Mom, dad, sister, brother, anybody. That was the best hug and then like, it was just, since then I was just on fire for Jesus. That was it. It was crazy. It was great. It was great.